Today is a wonderful day. Good morning to you if you play Pendulum. Bad morning if you don't. This video, as you can tell by the thumbnail, is gonna be me, my friend Jackal, and how we're basically going to flip Dark Ruler and Nibiru in face down defense position, if you know what I mean, and destroy them into oblivion and really just prove to the world that Pendulums, yet again, are the best deck. So if we are excited, to see Nibiru and Dark Ruler get absolutely obliterated every single hand at the same time and destroy Super Mario and Super Poly at the same time with four hands in a row, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below if you want to see the deck profile of the updated list for the new September 2019 format. Hey, let's go. Pendulum really is the best deck, man. I was not joking, and now we're gonna show you multiple hands in a row, completely in a row. You even see the hands before I draw it, of Pendulum destroying not just Nibiru, not just Dark Ruler, both of them at the same time, and not just both at the same time, also Sphere Mode and Super Poly. All these four side cards you're gonna see uh, played a lot against you, and it's how to destroy them. Every single hand, regardless of what you have. So this hand, we have Servant, but Move, we're gonna show different hands without Servant and Jackal because obviously people know Jackal Servant destroys it But you're gonna need to fix the deck how it's played before you cannot play Pendulums how it was before and expect to destroy Sphere Mode, Super Poly, Nibiru and Dark Ruler, okay? You can't just expect to just beat them playing the deck however you played it before You have to make adjustments and these adjustments is what puts Pendulums above every other combo deck in the game and any deck in the game this format and I'm not just saying that. What a beautiful format to be in. Unbanned soon, uh, hopefully, uh, being able to destroy it. So, obviously, you get three spells. Like, you gotta play a shit ton of spells, as I've been telling you guys before. Even before before these cards, with hand traps, you still have to play a lot of servants. Anyways, so here we go. We got servant, we got jackal. I'm just gonna continue playing. Everyone knows how to do normal pencil combos. This is how you beat Nibiru. And I'm gonna show you guys how to beat Nibiru, even when you don't have access to jackal. It's very easy. I'll show you in the, in the different replays. We have four replays in a row to show you guys. But now, this is how you beat Dark Ruler. You send Nip Zephyr Nui with Divine Strike, and you're going to be able to beat Dark Ruler with that. It's mandatory. Not in the main deck. I'm going to show you guys how to play after siding, but because no one's maining these cards. But in order to beat Dark Ruler, you have to play, you must play, Not this is not debatable, Zephyr Nui or Orcus Crescendo. So you either play an Orcus Engine, a mini Orcus Engine to get Crescendo, so, I'm going to show you guys my Orcas version later. My Orcas version is spicy as shit. It's amazing. You play one Orcas Nightmare, and that's the only Orcas monster you play. And the card Orcas Nightmare sends is Gizmek Orochi. So, you play Crescendo, Orcas Nightmare, and Gizmek Orochi. The smallest Orcas engine ever. But what it does is it gets you Crescendo for Dark Ruler. It gets you a negate regardless if they have Dark Ruler or not. And you have, you have access to the Gearsu. And best of all, you have Gizmek Orochi, which... This card is remarkable in the grind game. It's absolutely extraordinary. I absolutely love that card. Uh, anyways, we're going to keep going here. And as you see, you have Jacqueline. We're going to fast forward the rest of this because you're going to have Jacqueline and Zephyr Nui. And this is the combo. You see right here is the combo. You notice there's no Dark Worm, right? We, we, normally, you would send Dark Worm in this situation. We have some pro plays there. But you have Dragon Caller. This is why you must play Dragon Caller. At the time, you only have six, seven Dark Worms or whatever. So if you... Don't open one of them, and you need to, you need to send an Electrum instead. But you need the Zephyr Nui to stop Dark Ruler. So instead, just send Zephyr Nui and get Dragon Caller to make any card there uh, Dragon. Right? Is it going to be the same result? So they're going to fast forward. This is the new combo. Okay, the new combo is normally it's Dark Worm or whatever. You pay close attention here. So the new combo, the new Pendulum combo, you must do every time after siding is as it is. Everything looks normal, right? But you just must Pendulum summon the Zephyr Nui and. That's that. You make Dragster and Endymion. Normally, you're not going to get the Endymion. Well, no, obviously, you will. The deck's amazing. But you have Endymion sometimes, and you're going to end up with Persona Dragon as well, which I deducted that is mandatory to play. Okay? You need to play another card to summon off Sphere, or, uh, yeah, off Seal. And uh, Persona is just the best out of the three because for Sloth, it's a sloth and aether. You can't put in their in the scales because sloth's effect doesn't let you. It, it's just it's just not. It's whatever. You don't want to put that in the scale. And going second, it's a brick. Uh, but persona is great first or second. And aether, you don't want to put in the scale. So the issues with both of them, sloth being it sucks going second, and aether being you can't put in the scale because scale four. 
uh, Persona does the same thing as Aether going second. It banishes a card, aka what this one does, it just negates the effect instead of banishing. So same thing. And going first, uh, a lot of times they're going to just attack you with one monster. So Persona is better to have. Because uh, Aether is going to resolve nothing. So you're going to have seven interruptions there. The Persona, the Seal has two, Endymion three, Vortex four, Drexer five, J Jackal six, and then the Divine Strike seven. So that's how you play around Super Poly and Sphere Mode. Because if you, they Super Poly you, that's three interruptions. They're going to have four cards versus your four negates. Good luck, have fun. That's, you're still trash. You destroy them. Now we're going to do this again. N another hand. This hand, we're going to... The deck is so good that it opens Servant every single game, right? It opens Servant every single game. But what we're going to do is purposely make this hand shit. To make sure... Well, not shit, because no hand is shit. I can't even make a shit hand if I tried in this deck. But we're going to purposely put back every single Servant or Master we draw. To show you that every single hand can do, uh, can do, can play around Nibiru and and Dark Ruler without Servant. So we drew Mastery. We're gonna put that back for whatever's on top into the Void. We draw into Servant. We're gonna put that back again. All right. So here's the hand. Any hand does. I know we have Pencil Dark, but it doesn't matter. Any hand, any hand plays around Nibiru and Dark Ruler, even the ones without Servant or or Jackal. Uh, so what we do here is the first two summons to make Electrum are two summons. Electrum is the third summon. And now here's what you do to, to play around it. You simply special summon Chronograph. The card you summon off Chronograph and Chronograph come out at the exact same time. They both count as summon number four. They're summoned at the exact same time. So it's not summon, summon four, summon five. It's not like that. They count as a single summon, similar to a pendulum summon. It counts as a single summon. Hence, this is your fourth summon. And on your fifth summon, you go Appalooza. Boom, get wrecked, son. Doesn't even matter what you drew off electric draw. Now, Appalooza has three, three counters. And if they're going to attempt to... Uh, as Appalooza has the fifth negate, it stops Nibiru. So I'm pretty sure Konami did this on purpose, uh, releasing Apollo and then releasing Nibiru right after. Because Apollo is gonna Appalooza is gonna see so much play in every combo deck as the fifth summon stopping Nibiru. So now we have Nibiru stopped. We send Zephyr Nui, so we have both cards stopped. Now you might think, oh shit, but how are you gonna guard dragon combo while doing this? Because you're gonna have to get rid of the Apollo, right? Wrong. You can still card dragon combo except seal. And instead of seal, we're gonna put a better card than seal to still stop uh, a better card than seal in this situation. So this is your pendulum summon. You still have pen five. You have Apollo three negate, and you're gonna get divine strike off except for Nui, which we're gonna get in a bit. But you go nightmare phoenix. Okay. You need any card to go sideways, and you don't want to play extra bricks in your extra deck. You don't, you have like seven cards in the extra deck to destroy cards going second. The extra deck's built to go second. Even the main deck's built to go second. But you just have all these cards that are accessible regardless. You go LP. Obviously, you don't play Divine Strike instead of going second, but that's what siding's for. Like, when you know you're facing uh, all the hand traps and stuff or all the uh, promos, you're going to side like this, right? And now you're going to go to Sudo. Now you go Agar Pain, uh, where the LP was. Because uh, now Apollo and Nightmare Phoenix are pointing to this area. You can activate Apollo's effect. Summoning Vortex. Now, you're like, oh, what are you going to do with this, Triff? You can't even summon anything. What you're going to do is go into a card better than Seal for this situation if you have Apollo. Agar Pain, Nightmare Phoenix, and Harmonizing go into Boral Sword. So Boral Sword's going to make sure that Apollo can't be attacked. It's amazing. So now you're going to ensure that you have a Appalooza for three negates all the time, and you're going to activate all three of their negates, because whenever your opponent summons something to attack into the Appalooza, use Boral Sword to put it in defense. So now P Apollo can't be attacked. So you're going to use the Strudo as well. You're going to get out a Dragster. And now just like that, you're going to have a Divine Strike. You're going to have Appalooza for three negates, Vortex and Dragster, while playing around Nibiru. And while playing around uh, Dark Ruler. And now if they want to Super Poly you, they can't. Because you only have one Dark on board. Which is another great way to play around, play around Super Poly. The card that people have side against you for Super Poly is the Starving Venom. So if they Starving Venom you, they can't. Because you only have one Dark. So get wrecked, son. Alright, next. This one's a bad hand. So we're going to show you how to do it with a bad hand. Or like a subpar. Not a bad hand. A subpar hand. You open up. Let's show you guys that we hard drew it, whatever. Uh, and now we're going to. They're all in a row. They're all in a row. Now we're going to go, this one you open Divine Strike, so a brick, right? Who cares? This deck uh, has very few bad cards. You don't play bad cards like Magicians. Magicians suck. Like You don't play the minimal Magician count ever to combat all these promo cards, even before they suck, but now they suck even more. Same thing. Literally, they're just the exact same combo. In fact, if you open Zephyr Nui and don't open Servant, you can just send Servant and resolve Servant or Chronograph, whatever you want. There's so many different ways to do this combo, it's unreal. But I don't want to do a, a 50 minute video, otherwise I show you 20 hands in a row clearing the, the uh, Clearing all the promos. And boom, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six negates. That's the third hand in a row in a row with six interruptions. And six interruptions means that Super Poly and uh Sphere Mode don't do shit either. Uh so now we're gonna go to the next one. This one, we don't have servant. Uh we're gonna show you guys another one. 
Uh, but this one, we're going to end up with more bricks in hand. Like, we open Time Gazer, and we're going to end up drawing a dead card off Electrum. So it's like, uh, not that good of a hand, and we're, but we're still going to resolve everything we need to. We're still going to end up doing everything we need, ending up on five interrupts in this hand, I believe. And we're still going to be able to clear Nibiru. Even this hand clears Nibiru and Dark Ruler and Super Poly and all that jazz. So you're going to normal summon Electrum, sends up for Nui. All right, get Pearl Poison. Now, same thing. Chronograph, Chronograph, Dragon Pit. Appaloosa, Dragon Pit, and Cordega come out at the exact same time as summon number four. So summon number five, Appaloosa, negate. And you're gonna, unfortunately, we drew a dead pen call, and we didn't have enough access or plusing in this hand. That wasn't good enough plus-wise. And, yeah, so it wasn't good enough plus-wise, and we're gonna end up with just summoning three from Appaloosa, but that's okay. Just to the arrows Appaloosa points to. Because you want to just make sure that you could pl pl play around all the promos, which is, you're gonna see so much of this, especially early on. So what we're going to do next in this situation is obviously get Divine Strike, Nightmare Phoenix the same, and we're just going to end up with the exact same board except instead of Boral Sword and Dragster, we're just going to have a Triple Burst for next turn. So this, what Triple Burst does is next turn you're just going to be able to get back to Electrum, and you're going to be able to play a lot easier, and you have the Pseudo Mirror for next turn, with the Divine Strike and Pankoff for next turn. So your next turn is set up, and with even a little awkward hand like that, you still have three Negates or Appaloosa, Vortex, and a Divine Strike, and they can't Super Poly you because there's only one Dark, so get Rex on. And that's the deck. That's this. These are the combo tutorials you guys saw. If you guys want to see the deck profile, let me know in the description below and hit the subscribe button. We're almost at twenty thousand. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.